signals the end of that sketch. <laughs> um, which was basically a means of illustrating uh, the fact that art is bad for your health. Um, I mean, it's been proven, I think, over centuries of uh, miserable, uh, drug-addicted, alcohol-addicted, depressed, suicide victim artists over throughout the centuries. Um, so there's lots of evidence for that. But I also think my um, belief is that art is also losing its appeal, generally, amongst people, and also its position, its status of importance <coughs> in culture, and with this in mind, I'm faced with the rather bleak question, is it worth it? Is it worth making art today? Um, you might accuse me of being melodramatic at this point, which is fair enough, and it's certainly something that artists have been accused of being a lot, myself included. But I think if I am being melodramatic, it might be because uh, I'm being melodramatic for a different reason. Perhaps it's just that the death of art, or at least the removal of art from the centre of our lives uh, is not the great crisis I vainly imagine it to be. Um, perhaps we will feel its loss more, intention, uh, more intensely than other generations that are coming through um, because we had a certain relationship with art that we may have got through, I think for a lot of us, through music um, that I am worried that people do not have today and I think that we might be the transitional generation so it'll be hard for us, but maybe in the future, um, people will not miss what they never knew. Um, so with that in mind, I'm left pondering the question whether art will quietly follow God into the grave as another casualty of post-Enlightenment thinking. And the reason I bring up the Enlightenment and religion is that I think that art is um, a lot like religion, in a sense, of it being a kind of a pre-Enlightenment idea. The reason for that is that there is no definitive function of art. There's no real substantial way of measuring its effect. There's no proof even that it's beneficial to our culture as a whole. Um, and there's certainly no way of rationally justifying the kind of level of commitment that we've placed, that we've given to this thing over the centuries. That some of the brightest people throughout history have devoted their lives to this thing and perhaps they could be re-employed more productively as fantastic teachers or human rights lawyers, etc. And et um, so really the basic point of what I'm trying to say is that art is not safe, and art is not safe from this kind of hyper-rational uh, culture that, that we have. And perhaps in the future, artists and people who believe, um, believe art is important will be like um, a kind of a niche community of uh, weirdos, um, much like has happened to the Christian church that used to be central to um, British culture, but is now on the margins and is a kind of almost a, a, a comical thing in our culture. And a similar thing might be happening with our...